welcome back to my channel with what is trending in the Philippines as a Filipino. Should I cancel Korea or enjoy this tteokbokki? But before that, let's have our channel's intro. What I like about Korean food, aside from its taste, is the perceived world behind it. Most of my idea about Korea is based on K-dramas. And many ladies, including me, find K-drama an escape from reality. So after the day, we watch Korean dramas, fantasizing, and for just forget about the tough day. It is a source of escapism wherein I leave reality and enter into the world. A world wherein there are colorful landscapes, delicious food, and most importantly, being pursued by good-looking guys with a great sense of fashion. And eating food like this somehow makes me feel that I am part of the world. And aside from that, it is really tasty. That's why I consider this a comfort food, which is my second entry to the 100 days of comfort food. About hashtag cancel Korea, to be honest, I was also hurt by the hasty generalization of some Korean individuals. And with my experience here, where discrimination is also evident, it is not a good feeling. But what I learned here is that hate and racism is never a solution. And I was just thinking, perhaps we could be the better person. I have Korean friends that are nice to me, and I believe that many of them are pained by the ignorance of those who made comments against Filipinos. About the Korean War, Yes, we did help them escape defeat by sending troops, but their products like K-drama and K-pop also help us escape our daily battles against the ugly truth of reality. So rather than cancel Korea, I choose to cancel hate, racism, and bigotry, and instead enjoy this rabuki. Thanks for watching!